The world's fifth largest continent Antarctica is almost entirely covered by ice over 2,000 meters thick. The area sustains a varied wildlife, including seals, whales, and penguins. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959 and in force since 1961, provides for international governance of Antarctica. In this course, we will explore how such things as department stores, nationally advertised brand name goods, mass-produced cars and suburbs transformed the American economy, society and politics. The course is organized both thematically and chronologically. Each period deals with a new development in the history of consumer culture. According to a peer-reviewed study medical cannabis led to a statistically significant improvement in quality of life, employment status, and in the reduction of the number of medications in those with Tourette's syndrome, in addition to improving comorbidities. Three hundred and eighty years after his death, William Shakespeare remains the central author of the English-speaking world. He is the most quoted poet and the most regularly produced playwright, and now among the most popular screenwriters as well. Why is that, and who is he? Why do so many people think his writing is so great? What meanings did his plays have in his own time, and how do we read, speak, or listen to his words now? At a time when stress levels are soaring, rates of depression are increasing and the gap between rich and poor is ever widening. 
We believe that giving can play a positive role in helping people to feel connected to those around them and generate a sense of purpose and hope. When we give, we feel valued, useful and happy. Your tutor helps you make the most of your time at university by giving you guidance and support along the way. All new students are advocated a personal tutor who will encourage you to get the most out of your course, direct you to other sources of support and help you achieve your goals. To some extent, attendance at cultural venues and events is influenced by a person's age and the composition of the household in which they live. For example, those people in households with dependent children were more likely to visit zoological parks and aquariums than people living in single-person households. Your body is nearly two-thirds water. And so it is really important that you consume enough fluid to stay hydrated and healthy. If you don't get enough fluid you may feel tired, get headaches, and not perform at your best. Rarely, however, does a single research study produce the certainty needed to assume that the same results will apply in all or most settings. Rather, research is usually an ongoing process, based on many accumulated understandings and explanations that, when taken together, lead to a generalization that educational issues and ultimately, to the development of theories. Statistics are indicators of change and allow meaningful comparisons to be made. While it may be the issues rather than the statistics as such that grab people's attention, 
it should be recognized that it is the statistics that informed the issues. Statistical literacy, then, is the ability to accurately understand, interpret and evaluate the data that inform these issues. Urban forests can show pride and community spirit. Trees enhance community economic stability by attracting businesses and tourism. People linger and shop longer along tree-lined streets, apartments and offices in wooded areas, rent more quickly and have higher occupancy rates. Despite many similarities with literary political debate and other nations, there are also ways in which the cultural and political situation in Scotland has left the study of Scottish literature in a significantly different condition from that of the literary studies in many other parts of the world. The networks of roots that plants use to absorb water and nutrients can encompass a space larger than the part of the plant visible above ground. The nature of these root systems can help plants adapt to challenging environments such as deserts. Within this free course, you will be introduced briefly to the discipline of child psychology and to theories and approaches that have been developed to help us understand and support children's lives by focusing on the individual children. Psychologists can assess changes in their child's abilities over time, including their physical, cognitive, social, and emotional development. The course considers the ways in which thinkers have responded to the particular political problems of their day and the ways in which they contribute to a broader conversation about human goods and needs, justice, democracy, 
and the proper relationship of the individual to the state. You may have heard of the new fad known as ecotourism. This means tourism which is environmentally friendly and conscious about conserving the environment. The key is to minimize the physical, social and behavioral impacts of overseas travel. In an attempt to lure new students, leading business schools, including Harvard, Stanford, the University of Chicago and Wharton, have moved away from the unofficial missions and prerequisite of four years work experience and instead have set their sights on recent college graduates and so-called early career professionals. Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, and what kind of computers to buy. Global Management is a program specially designed to equip students with the knowledge and skills required to become an effective leader in diverse business contexts and varied intercultural settings. The program acknowledges that contemporary markets are increasingly complex in terms of culture and demand, that information and communication are crucial for success.